Welcome back to the channel Gadgets for a Gentleman. I did it again. I purchased the Apple Watch Series SE in the color Midnight. I think personally this watch is the best budget option that you can purchase in 2024. Uh, recently Apple announced the brand new Apple Watch Series 10 and I had some time to play around with the Series 10. Um, this time around they did not announce uh, a successor to the Apple Watch SE, second uh, generation. I think this generation dates back to 2022. So I think it's very likely that Apple will announce a successor, but I couldn't wait. I wanted an Apple Watch with just basic features. So I purchased the Apple Watch Series SE second gen color midnight GPS only aluminium uh, case. So the purpose of this video, just a very quick unboxing, show you what you can expect when you buy yourself a brand new Apple Watch Series SE second gen. I did play around with the Apple Watch Series 10. I will also leave a link in the description or in the end of this video. So make sure to check it out. That video also includes some uh, wrist shots. And what I concluded is that the Apple Watch Series SE second gen is very wearable if you have a larger, uh, smaller wrist like myself, 6.3 inches. So if you have small wrist, then I think this Apple Watch, the SE in the uh, 40 uh, millimeter, is just a very good fit for your wrist. It's a little bit thicker compared to the brand new Apple Watch Series 10, but the other dimensions of the case are more wearable in my opinion. I purchased this uh, product at Amazon. I will leave a link in the description. So here we have a 41 millimeter watch strap. This is the Midnight Sport Loop, and this is the standard color. So I think this is blue or black. Uh, that should work with the uh, midnight uh, case. Let's have a closer look. And I excuse um, myself for the uh, lighting condition. It's already autumn here in the Netherlands, so it's getting very dark outside. So the uh, video quality is maybe not perfect. Uh, I do apologize. Let's uh, proceed. So here we have some instructions how to fit the band to the case of the watch. And here we have the Beautiful. I think this is a nylon material, this fabric band. This time around, I went with this sport loop because it has more adjustability compared to the uh, regular sport band that is also really excellent. But this band with that Velcro material makes adjusting it even better, more precise, because you're not, uh, you, you don't have to work around with these holes but you can find a very secure fit. So I think that's a better fit for my wrist. There's some instructions and let's uh, proceed with the Apple Watch itself. Uh, so here we have these uh, stickers that we can remove on both sides. There we go. And now let's continue. So here we have the um, Apple Watch face, which is quite pretty. Uh, so this is the box of the Apple Watch. Really nice. Uh, let's proceed. Inside of this package, uh, what do we have? Right here, I think we have the uh, charging cable. This is how we open it. Uh, as we can see, we have the charging cable that goes to the back of the watch. And then here we have the USB-C part of that charging cable. There's no adapter included, so you do need to uh, combine this with your typical adapter or just plug it into your, for example, to your computer if it has a USB-C port uh, to charge the watch. I think this particular uh, version does not allow for the quick charge, something that we can see with the Apple Watch Series uh, 10. But then again, especially if you use this watch, I think in a low power mode, you have quite some time to spend with. There's not the always on display. So I think energy consumption with this watch is not uh, going through the roof. So I think once a day charging should be fine. Uh, we have some more information right here. And most importantly, <laughs> here we have it. I really love this color. I just played around with the jet black Apple Watch Series 10, but I also have a very soft spot for the midnight color. So let's get started. Uh, here we have the typical 
nylon uh, case back of the Apple Watch Series SE second gen. Here it reads uh, Apple Watch uh, Cupertino USA. Uh, let's open it up carefully. And that sound of that sticker is very cool. Uh, there we go. One, two, three. Yeah, there we have it. Wow. So here we have it. Uh, the Apple Watch SE second gen GPS only aluminium in the color midnight. And as you can see, we have that composite case back, uh, that nylon uh, material, uh, making this cost very affordable, reducing the cost of uh, manufacturing. And you get a lot of value with this particular Apple Watch. And as noted, the Apple Watch case is a little bit thicker compared to the um, newer Series 10. Uh, one millimeter thicker compared to the Series 10. But then again, if we look into, for example, these dimensions and these dimensions, I think it's a little bit smaller, making it wear even better on the wrist. So let me follow the instructions for the band. Okay, here we have the band and this part uh, reading 41. So that's funny. Apple produced this band, I think, for the Apple Watch Series 9, 10, because it reads 41, but it is uh, compatible with the 40 millimeter Apple Watch uh, SE. So uh, how to attach it? I think we should go like this. And here we can see those adapters. It's funny, that's gray and that's dark blue. And I think it works well, as you can see. That's a nice looking combination. So there we go. Very snappy. Now, uh, this should be the setup. When I hold it next to the instructions, as you can see right here, uh, this should be the setup. So we have the side button, we have the microphone, we have the crown. And as you can see here, we have that loop for adjusting the, the fit of the watch. Now let me take off the Hamilton Kaki Automatic and let's uh, put this watch uh, to the side. This is a 38 millimeter watch. Uh, let's throw on the Apple Watch on the wrist or shall we first have one more close up. So now with this band we have this, I would say this is a beige color uh, finishing right here on the very end of the band. It's quite a tasteful uh, color. We have a gray adapter, as, you, as we can see. And then I think we have a very dark blue, very dark blue band. And this works very nice, no nonsense. But this looks all very discreet. Uh, I think it will blend in with a lot of outfits. So that is the midnight, beautiful, beautiful um, look. Uh, let me throw it on the wrist and show you what it looks like on this uh, small wrist. Here we go. There we have it. And the beauty again is we don't need to find a particular uh, adjustment hole. You just find whatever suits you and just close the Velcro like so. And it's very sticky, very sturdy. And you can make these small adjustments. As you can see right here, you can just make it a little bit tighter or looser and just close that uh, part right here. And here we have it on the wrist. Let me power it on. And that's the, um, I wonder if there's any juice inside of this battery. I think we need to fully charge it. Yeah, it looks very empty. So this is what it looks like on the wrist, uh, 6.3 inches. This is the 40 millimeter. Uh, the SE also comes in a larger version, the 44. But for me, for my wrist, as you can see, uh, this works very well. Uh, side by side with the Hamilton for your uh, reference. Uh, you can see that the Apple Watch uh, SE second gen 40 mil is a very understated look and it could even go like underneath uh, a shirt. I plan to use this as a sports watch to track my runs, use it as an alarm clock before I go to bed, some sleep tracking, timers, just wear this one whenever I'm running errands. And when I need to dress up, just to wear a mechanical watch. Yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I'll leave a link to this product in the description. Have a great day and see you soon.